This quick video will show how I use the ACT land custodianship system to identify blocks that we might be able to use to fly from. Here is the URL that's given in the notes below so you can click on that. When you open the system you'll see this uh, information tab. You can close or open those. The first thing we'll do is we'll turn on different layers. You'll see the layers tab at the bottom of the screen. If for some reason that's not shown you can use the blue button to change visible map layers and that will show that. The first thing I do is turn on aerial photography 2016 or 2015. I also turn on the option to show contours and that shows 10, 5 and 1 meter uh, contours. The next thing I do is hide pieces of land or hide the layers for pieces of land that we're unlikely to get permission to use. So that's shown in land custodianship. All of the layers are currently being shown. I just go through and hide the layers that we're unlikely to get use of. So hide least territory land. Um, private lease hide that, national land leased hide that, uh, we're unlikely to get land development agency use but I'll leave that shown for a minute. Uh, all of those are TAMs, not public land and also make sure that you've got uh, lease territory land, private lease um, uh, unticked as well. Okay, now we can look at the map. We'll just scroll in on the section near uh, Denman Prospect. You'll see there's quite a lot of information here. It takes a little while just to become familiar with it. So here we're looking at the section near Denman Prospect. Here's a parcel of land we may be able to use. If I zoom in by just double clicking, I will eventually uh, see some information about the uh, that piece of land. By clicking on it I can see this information block which shows me the block and section. It also confirms that it's TAMS public land environment unleased. I can then go and find that layer and uh, turn off the colors on that layer and that will let me look at the aerial photography and the contours. You'll notice that some of this land will have a green border around it. For example this magenta section here you can see a green border. If I click on that you'll see the green border indicates that there's a license over it. If I click on the section, you'll see uh, this SDMS ID. That's uh, some sort of license. So most likely that's been used for grazing um, and we would need to approach the, the leasee. So uh, that allows you to find the, the piece of land. I suggest what you do, then do is you go out and physically look at it uh, to see if you think it might be uh, uh, suitable for launching from. 
Another thing that you can do uh, using this system is to find a block of land. So to do that, click on the blue uh, button, uh, search for blocks. Most likely you'll be searching for a rural block. And the block of land that I want to look at is in Malonglo. And it's uh, block number four. Search. That will then return a list of hits in this uh, section. This time there's only one. Then I can click on that and then we'll go to uh, show that particular block. This would have been a fantastic block to uh, launch from. Uh, unfortunately, it's just been transferred to the land or it's in the process of being transferred to the Land Development Agency uh, for redevelopment of this intersection. Sometimes you, this system is not up to date. For example, these blocks here um, there's no color on them, but again, they're being transferred to the Land Development uh, Agency. Once you find a block that you think is suitable, go out and physically have a look at it. Then if you send me the block and section number or a um, Google Earth pin, uh, I can then uh, investigate with the public land use people to see what the current status of the block is and then work out who we can approach 